So here I am in uh, Split Croatia. Um, I arrived on the 31st of October, so I've been here just under a month. I wanted to just start YouTube for a long time, so I'm just starting with this video. I kept putting it off, putting it off, and I said, well, now's the time. And I worked really hard to get here um, because of all the the restrictions that are going on and um, basically I just took the time to uh, go on the websites that I'll, I'll link below that show you where you can go and when you can't where you can't go I just have wanted to be out of LA for a long time I've spent like a year or so in Paris and couldn't get back there because of the restrictions and so I said, okay, where can I go? Um, and there was Belize, there was um, Bora Bora, there was St. Lucia, there was Tanzania, there was uh, Macedonia, England, um, Croatia, um, Tanzania, did I say that? And so there's just um, a few places, 14 countries at the time. I booked this uh, at the end of... Uh, sometime in August and there were zero cases in Croatia and I just thought you know I want to be in Europe and that's pretty close to Europe um, I've been to England and England just for me I like it very very much to visit I like staying there for a week or two but it's just not a place that I really really want to stay long term so I came here expecting to stay for three months so I would uh, leave the end of January and I really like it here it's really pretty it's calm um, my biggest decision I'm such a city person and my biggest decision was do I want to be in split which is like a seaside kind of village town small town or do I want to be in Zagreb which is more like a city and I couldn't decide, couldn't decide, couldn't decide. And then I just ended up staying in split. I said, let me do something different because I'm always in cities. And I do like it. I think that for me, I am much more of, um, of a, a much more of a city person so it's like even with the restrictions I'd rather be walking around the city on a regular basis than walking around in a small town by the sea it's nice to go to the sea on vacation and it's nice to have be close to it but it's not really me so yeah it's not really me to be um, in a, a small town um, I don't know, it's just there's something fascinating about a big city and walking around, even if everything's closed, it's more interesting to me in the big parks and so much to explore and seeing graffiti or shop windows, it's just interesting to me. Um, so while I like it here a lot, I'm not in love. Um, I do love it, but not to stay long term, you know, it's to me it's more of a vacation place and now with restrictions there's really nothing to do. Um, so yeah, so I just, you know, finally just picked split and flew to, you know, had to take the piece PCR test and it's like, cost like, uh, I got it done in Beverly Hills cause I'm in LA. I was in LA. So it costs like $200 or something like that and, or 150. And so then, um, yeah. And they emailed me the results the next day and I was in London just stayed over at an airport hotel, which was actually really nice. It was the Sofitel, Sof Sofitel, and uh, I really loved it. I had a credit on Expedia, so I used that, and then um, they were they were just so great. And then hopped a flight to Zagreb the next day, and then from there hopped a flight to Split. Um, arrived really late at night. Um, everything's cobblestones. The area. I'll show in another video. It's really cute and quaint. It's, it is really, really special. Um, and I'm about a four minute walk to the sea, the port, which is the Adriatic. And uh, so it's really, it's really kind of cool. 
I feel like I never thought in my lifetime that I would see the Adriatic Sea. I never planned on it, never thought about it, but it's really, it's just kind of cool. Um, and I've been doing things like I went sailing, which I'll do a video on, and went to a movie, um, went out drinking before the bars closed, which isn't really my thing, but it was fun. And, um, and that's it. So I just wanted to, in this video, really just show, um, I'm looking around my apartment, uh, make sure everything's in order, um, just show my apartment what a typical, um, well, this is Airbnb, a typical Airbnb apartment looks like in Croatia, because um, they really are quite nice. They really do a really good job um, with it. So basically, um, I have all the lights on in here because it's really dark. Um, otherwise, we should have one or two lights, so I have every light on in here, so it's a little crazy. But it's really quaint and cute. Um, the TV does have um, some American channels. It has something called the Euro Channel, so there's German movies and programs and French and Russian and, and Croatian, but it's, it's quite interesting. So there's a couple of channels that are American. Um, and so, and also what's really um, cool is this white stone that I've seen in, I've only been in a few other apartments for, for, with friends and it seems to be like very typical. Um, and so then we have the door, which has an iron gate on it and uh, the blinds are broken, but whatever. And then um, there's this little seating area, which is way over here. And I'm on the first floor, so I keep the curtains closed most of the time, even though the glass is very frosty, which is cool, but I just keep the um, closed. Um, and then that's a little kitchen. It has everything, even has an oven. Um, and she has everything here that I need, and I'm so grateful for that. And then the little bedroom area. And I think it's kind of cool that it's separated with this glass because it kind of just separates the room, but if you want to lay in bed and watch TV, you can, or if you have someone sleeping over, because this is a pull-out couch, um, you can have someone sleep over um, and still chat with them and see what's going on. And then, and there's plenty of closet space. And then this is the little bathroom with a washing machine, which I'm grateful. When I was in Paris, I didn't have any of that. And just like a little, that's the hot water heater. And um, so that's really, that's really it. This is it from all the way back here. So you can really see it. So yeah, I just think it's really cute. So that's my journey to Croatia. Um, and so we'll see what happens. I extended it till April and that's a really, really good tip uh, to extend something go to Airbnb, you know, book something on Airbnb, whatever country it is or whatever city. And, um, and then, um, make a deal with the landlord or ask them to make a deal. And usually they'll give you a really good price. And the good thing about that is that you already know that you're comfortable staying here. You know, the noise level, you know, if it's in a good proximity to where you want to be, you know, if the neighborhood's nice, you know, if it's safe, um, you can't always do that because sometimes they already booked because I would have stayed here a couple of extra months, but she actually booked something in April. So I can't really, I can't really stay past April unless I leave and come back, which I've thought about, but I will be staying here until April 1st so far. So I have like a hundred dollars off my rent. That's the other thing. The other reason I pick Croatia is that my rent is 660 a month for this whole place in a nice area in town. And um, that's a bargain. And I'm gonna get $100 less when I start paying her directly in, after Airbnb is over in February. So two months I, I get an, less $100. So yeah, it's really cheap here. But I wonder if that's a good deal because my friend, my friend here, she is, well, she's American, but she was living in Spain, and so she's here for a little while, and she negotiated her rent down. She's a two-bedroom on the third floor in also cute area. It's like a two-minute walk from here, and um, she has a balcony, 
and she's paying 400 or 450 a month, 400. And so, yeah, that's um, a huge difference. But I didn't want to negotiate. She gives me everything I need here. She's a lovely woman. And here, I feel like I use the heat a lot because I'm always so, so cold. And so now I don't, I won't, if I like tried to negotiate too much, I would feel like, like guilty using so much heat. I mean, I don't take advantage of it. I don't use it unless I need it, but I do happen to be cold a lot and it rained here for two weeks almost. And so it was freezing. Well, I mean, I think it was freezing. And so I did use the heat a lot. The other thing is that speaking of heat, there's heated floors and it's a dream. There's heated floors in the bathroom, there's heated floors in this little living room area, and there's heated floors uh, next to the bed. So it's fantastic. So I use that too a lot, um, especially in the morning. So I don't, you know, I, I, again, I don't take advantage, I just put it on just to put it on. But it's nice because since I'm on the first floor, it's like the floors are really ice cold. Um, and I do yoga. So, um, so yeah, so that's kind of my apartment in Croatia. Thanks for watching.